Hey you guys, welcome to a new episode of Spill the Tea, bitch. I got a ton of tea for you all, so grab you a snack, honey, get you something to drink, sit back and relax, and drink in all of this good tea that I got for y'all today. The first story that I have for you all today is about Rachel Roy, aka Becky with the good hair. Okay, so you all know the tea about Rachel Roy a few weeks back when Lemonade dropped. She went on Instagram and kind of sort of outed herself as being Becky. She later then came out and said that it was all in good fun and just a joke and that she and Jay-Z never slept with each other and that she respect marriages and blah, blah, blah. Blog info blah, blah. has been released and I got the tea for So while Jay-Z and Beyonce have been healing from the rumors of infidelity and repairing their relationship, it seems like more potentially damaging information may appear. It's been reported that personal information from Rachel Roy's computer has been stolen in a huge security breach according to page 6. The couple is said to be bracing themselves for the information that may be released. Sources say Rachel has confided to friends about the stolen emails. She has no idea how they've been swiped, but is aware how much harm they can cause. From a personal level, she wanted to distance herself from the Fuhrer after initially playing up to the link as Jay-Z's rumored other woman. But now she fears the spotlight will be well and truly back on her, Jay-Z and Beyonce, if these conversations end up online. The breach will not only be damaging to Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship, but other famous married men as well. Child, Rachel, girl, you just trying to drum up some publicity for your struggle <laughs> fashion line up there in Macy's, girl. Um, it's apparent that she is behind all of this. It's not a coincidence that all of a sudden now these emails have potentially leaked. She leaked them herself. She wants to be in the spotlight. She wants the attention on her. She wants to ruin Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship if she is the potential Becky with the good her. I don't know what she's up to. I know her uh, clothing line is not doing as well as it was in the beginning. I need for Rachel to have several seats and focus on her relationship with her real baby daddy, Damon Dash, and why this nigga walking around with missing teeth and on couples therapy, family therapy and shit. You need to be focusing on your children, your baby daddy, honey, and your fashion line instead of trying to stir up drama between Jay-Z and Beyonce. If you was a side bitch, bitch, then you shouldn't be fucking glorified in that shit. Ashes to ashes and dust to side bitches. So Neo's ex-fiance and the mother of two of his children, Monetta Shaw, is back in the media again. So homegirl had this to say. Monetta regrets the threesome that she had with the singer Neo. She is being quoted as saying, you're in a relationship. You know your partner. I wasn't approved. I went hard for my relationship. It kind of happened and that's what it was. The reason why I thought it was important to put it in the, the book. She's written a book, y'all. Just when my daughter gets old enough to read it, or my son, it's necessary in the book because whatever you do, you ain't gonna keep them. Maddie, who is her daughter, don't do it, girl. If it's not what you want, at the time, it was what I wanted. I'm not proud of it, and I wouldn't recommend it if it's not part of your lifestyle. I've never tasted the seafood, let's be clear. I have no desire to taste the seafood. Yeah, I need for you to go crawl back in whatever rock you was hiding under, girl, and shut the hell up. Like, you've already put y'all business out there about how he asked you to tie your tubes and get them burned, and you did the shit, now you can no longer have children. But I just feel like this was unnecessary information. You've already played yourself once, girl. Stop playing yourself. If you're trying to write a book to get some coins, get you a coin. I just, I don't know. I just think that it was it was unnecessary for us to know that, that you over there having threesomes with that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Like, girl, you should know you couldn't trust that nigga no way. That nigga don't even trust his scalp. That nigga walk around with a hat on 24 hours a day for the last 25 years, girl. So, if you, this nigga can't even trust his own hairline. How the fuck was you supposed to trust him, girl? Great movie slash television news. For all of you that have seen the critically acclaimed movie, Dear White People, Dear White People will now be coming to Netflix. Yeah! 
is at the film Dear White People, which starred Tessa Thompson, who also starred in the movie Creed as Michael B. Jordan's love interest, Tayana Paris, Tyler James Williams, and Brandon P. Bell will be revamped into a Netflix original. Justin Simeon, the screenwriter slash director of the 2014 film, will be writing the 10 episode comedy for Netflix. Much like the film, the series will follow a group of students of color as they navigate their way through a predominantly white Ivy League college. The film dealt with differences in society as they pertain to race, sexuality, and interracial relationships. It's unclear whether the film's original cast will return for the series, but what we do know is that the projected debut is in early 2017. I am so excited about this because Dear White People was a phenomenal movie. If you haven't seen it, it's like the new age version of school days by spike lee it is so phenomenal the acting was great the storyline and the plot line was great the screenwriting was great the actors was great so so to know that this now will be a part of the netflix series is phenomenal I kanye west tried his life honey the rapper slash producer slash designer slash visionary slash genius honey has reportedly fired a bodyguard after catching him talking to his wife Kim K just before the 2016 Met Gala on May 2nd Mr. West just lost it and sacked Stephen Stanulis upon seeing him chatting with his baby mama outside her walled off Astoria hotel room New York Daily News reports sources claim Yeezy came out of a room adjacent to Kim's and immediately locked horns with, with Mr. Steve who was delivering a package for Kim Kardashian. According to another onlooker, the Chicago rapper said, this isn't right. <laughs> Bodyguard, a former member of the NYPD, as well as former Chippendales dancer, mm, has previously protected the likes of Leonardo DiCaprio and Alanis Morissette, and is speaking out against rumors claiming there was any inappropriate talk or flirtation going on. I'm a happily married man with three children, and I have no comment, he told the publication. Apparently, the hired muscle and the eccentric fashion designer previously had problems a few months ago during February 2016 New York Fashion Week when, you guessed it, the dude tried to have a conversation with Mrs. West. It was previously reported that Kanye has strict orders that all security staff are not to talk to his wife or kids at any time under any circumstances unless in regards to security. I think that is a bit of a mess. You expect for your security or your staff not to talk to your wife or your children and they work for them. Child, can you sit your ass down somewhere and go take them blue contacts up out your goddamn eye? I cannot stand this man. He is just way over the top. He does way too much. It's unnecessary. I think that's fucking stupid. If you're that insecure about your whorish ass wife, then I don't know what to tell you. You should have married her ass. If you're that intimidated by other men having a conversation with your wife, what you think she gonna open her legs for him or any other man that works for your fucking wife? Like, boy, I just cannot with Kanye. Focus on your Yeezy collection and actually make clothes that people can wear not some x-men apocalypse dragon ball z bullshit i mean actually make clothes that don't look like you can get them from the thrift store or like when these homeless men across the street rock like i need for him to have several don't nobody want your slut ass wife but you trust and believe that kanye you the only one that want to tap that big ass ocean vagina hole that she got boy bye career is just on the up and up reports are that the former model has landed a talk show y'all and it will air weekly on vh1 and is slated to premiere sometime this summer the weekly series will feature amber rose conducting interviews with various celebrities and will include provocative yet entertaining conversations about race relationships and overall pop culture so it's no small feat for the used to be homeless amber rose it will be produced by stage 29 productions a company presided by dr phil and his son jay mcgraw and air on vh1 at a time where ratings are skyrocketing mona scott young is also consulting executive producer the gm for vh1 chris mccarthy said her members past and her will to overcome all of her obstacles is the main reason they were sold on amber rose 
was quoted as saying, Amber has inspired millions of young women by overcoming homelessness to become a wildly successful entrepreneur. He also added, Amber is a perfect addition to the VH1 family because our audience is interested in hearing unique perspectives from those who are unapologetically themselves and not afraid. I have mixed feelings on this talk show. I love Amber Rose. I'm a huge fan of hers, but I'm going to be honest. I liked Amber a lot more when she didn't talk, when she was just Kanye's muse, this gorgeous, stunning creature that never talked and was just on bad bitch status and could rock an outfit like none other. Some of her views I agree with, but some of them I don't. So it'll be very interesting to see how she does as a talk show because hosting the show is very difficult. We all saw how Khloe Kardashian's second attempt at having a talk show played out. It got canceled once again. So hopefully her hosting skills are up to par. I cannot wait to see who her guests are going to be. This is going to be very, very interesting. But nonetheless, congratulations to Amber Rose on her new talk show. So Demi made waves last week after the Met Gala when she posted a picture of her on the red carpet with Nicki Minaj and Moschino designer. Jeremy Scott, take a look at this picture. She captured the picture by saying, this picture pretty much summed up my first and probably last Met. Hashtag cool. Hashtag not for me. Hashtag sweatpants. Hashtag forensic files. Hashtag what's good. Uh, are you calling out Nicki Minaj? Demi Lovato? Cause she's showing the hell side out the fuck out of you ma'am. Also followed up that caption by going on her Snapchat, which I follow and I got to witness with my own two very eyes. And she posted this picture. And she captioned it, when you aren't mentioned in a post but didn't do shit to the person. You matter or not. Nah. She also... After that, posted a snap right after that snap where she was sitting down and she showed, she put the camera on her crotch and then did like this and a, you know, jerking off movement. So homegirl was really mad that Nicki Minaj did not shout her out in their picture together. It really goes to show Demi Lovato's maturity level at her age because any grown ass woman would not give a fuck about somebody tagging him on no goddamn picture. If she don't like you, so the fuck what? Who gives a fuck? It's Nicki Minaj. Did you see her outfit? I mean, you need to be as concerned with why Jeremy Scott put you in that House of Darion knockoff dress that you had the fuck on. That dress was terrible. He made you and Nikki look terrible. So both you hoes should have been mad at him instead of you being mad at her by not tagging you in a goddamn picture. I need for you to grow up, man. You are a phenomenal singer. I love what you've been doing musically lately. But to be tripping off a tag in a photo and worried about whether or not somebody like you or not, who gives a fuck? Nicki Minaj ain't no goddamn body. That bitch piss and shit and bleed every day just like your ass do. Don't be concerned about whether or not that girl like you or tagged you in a fucking photo. Girl, get over it. It ain't that damn serious. After that and after being reamed by Nicki Minaj fans and just the public in general, she then tweeted off these tweets. Added Perez Hilton and said, relax, I didn't shade anyone. If anything, I shaded myself from how awkward I look. Sometimes there's more to the story. Sometimes there's more shit going on than what you see. Maybe you don't know every aspect of my life, so maybe you shouldn't assume you know. Or maybe I rant online because people assume they know things and their entitlement to, to know makes me feel obligated to defend myself. At least I'm honest. I'd rather annoy people with my honesty and loud opinions than stay silent and be fake as fuck. Hashtag last sweet of the night. Hashtag going to sleep. Bye for Demi. Well, good and damn well, you was trying to be funny and you were being shady. You were mad and you were in your feelings. Don't try to backtrack now when you've been called out on your foolishness because you look like a little girl. Own up to it. Just say you sorry and keep it moving, girl. Bye. And then my last bit of gossip news. It's sad to say that Lamar Odom is drinking again. Take a look at these photos. After the photos were released, Khloe Kardashian took to her Twitter and tweeted twice, 
the first one was shaking my head and the second one was hmm people disappoint it's really sad to see that he's gone back to drinking whether it's just one cocktail to whatever i just think this is not a good idea especially after everything that he's gone through and one addiction can lead to another i just think that it's a horrible idea it's sad to see that after everything that he's gone through he's still not taking heed to his health and taking care of himself after he's been given another chance at life it's just very sad disappointing but i just feel like at this point chloe needs to move on with her life divorce him and let him fend for himself because you cannot help a person that does not want to help themselves in celebrity baby news i have the first look of r&b singer melanie fiona's new baby boy cameron take a look at him celebrity baby news as you all know black china is pregnant with her second child with rob kardashian her first child was with tyga his name is king cairo and now she's pregnant with her second baby i believe she is four months pregnant so congratulations to black china honey this is a win for us honey somebody has finally outsmarted them goddamn conniving as kardashian bitches they always fucking with somebody goddamn man honey and now the tables have been turned on them you get it bitch go ahead on black china i just cannot wait to see the baby shower i can't wait to see if they gonna throw her a baby shower because you know amber gonna be there and amber and kim don't really like each other but they trying to play nice with one another oh my god girl this is gonna be everything i'm here for the bullshit i'm here for the checks that's about to be cash black china bitch Girl, you are the ultimate queen of pettiness. You got the ring. You got the damn nut up in your baby. You let him shoot up the club. Now you about to have this the first actual Kardashian baby with the last name Kardashian child. Let it be a boy so he can carry on the Kardashian name. Yes, God, Black China. In other Black China news, it was reported today that China filed legal documents laying claim to the name Angela Renee Kardashian and Black China cornering the market for entertainment services television and movie appearances living as a social media celebrity and party hosting her birth name is angela renee white i'm here with you angela i'm here with you bitch get them coins bitch get them coins so it's been reported that janet jackson at the age of 50 is pregnant with her first child with her husband wasim who is a billionaire Janet is getting them billionaire coins, honey. I don't know what egg she scrambled to get that baby, honey. But congratulations to Janet Jackson. I cannot wait to see the first photos. And in my last bit of baby news, Eddie Murphy and his longtime girlfriend, Paige Butcher, just welcomed their baby girl, Izzy ona murphy the baby weighed seven pounds 15 ounces and was 19 and a half inches long this is eddie murphy's ninth child child that nigga love busting a nut does not want us to remember back in the early 90s when he pulled over and tried to solicit sex from that transgender prostitute i remember you know they say with men out here just fucking and having all these babies because they tried to hide something i got my eye on you eddie I got my eye on you, bitch. That's all the tea I had to spill today. I thank you all so much for watching this. Let me know your thoughts on these stories down in the comment section. Please make sure to thumbs up this video and to subscribe if you're new to my channel and to share this video on any of your social media platforms. I love you all so much. Thank you all for supporting my channel. God bless you all and have a phenomenal week. Bye. My latest book, Heartless, is available at Amazon or BarnesandNobles.com. Check it out now.